at CES and we're checking out a cool device you put your iPhone in from Occipital and we're here with Jacob yeah. and he's going to explain more about how this works. Absolutely, thanks. So uh, what we've got here is Bridge. It's a uh, mobile, uh, spatially aware, mixed reality HMD. So what that means is uh, it uses your uh, iPhone, right? Um, so you can just pop it in and out like that. All the processing is done uh, locally on device. Um, and then it has a structure sensor up here for uh, positional tracking and it creates a dense 3D model of your environment. Now, one of the really cool things about having a dense model of your environment is you get more than just the uh, positional tracking, you know, like you get with, uh, for example, ARKit or AR Core. Uh, instead, what actually happens is um, we create a, we render all of the geometry of the real world. So when an object uh, passes behind the couch, for example, it uh, disappears behind it and is properly occluded. Uh, and if I throw a ball against the wall, it actually bounces off of the wall and then will hit the couch and then will uh, roll underneath the table. Um, additionally, you can do things like uh, character pathfinding. So as your uh, characters navigate through the world, they'll actually have to uh, navigate around uh, around objects. I'm going to show you a couple of demos here. Uh, I'm going to put these into uh, mono mode, so they're full screen, so the camera can get a better view. Um, but obviously, traditionally, they're rendered in uh, stereo. So. so here you can see the uh, the dense mapping of the uh, of the environment around us. So you can see it just takes a, a couple of seconds here to generate the uh, the mesh of our environment. Uh, this is what really power. This is what really sets a uh, bridge um, apart. So here we can see we've got this little. Uh, if I tap that. We'll have uh, Bridget, our little uh, kind of robot companion, show up. There she is. And one of the one of the first things you'll notice, if, for example, I tell her to walk to the other side of the environment here. You see, when she passes behind the table, she's actually um, very tightly occluded. You know, within a, within a pixel or so. Um, and 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 uh, the other thing is, again, you'll notice that she's actually navigating around the environment. So when I tell her to move to this side of the table, she's actually uh, walking around it because she knows she can't um, pass over it. Uh, there's some really other cool features that you can get here. For example, um, if I, uh, you're allowed to put a shader effects over the uh, the real environment. So, like uh, anything that you could do in a game engine, you know, in your game environment, you can actually do against your uh, your real world uh, your real world. Uh, you can also, again, as I mentioned earlier, you've got physics. So if I throw this ball here, you can see it landed on top of the couch, and she's gonna. She, we're playing fetch with her actually, but she wasn't able to get it because it was too high up. So let's try throwing it a little closer to her. Boop. And now she'll uh, she'll go there. She'll pick it up, and she'll uh, she'll bring it back to us. Uh, there's uh, a couple of other uh, benefits that you get from using the phone like this. Actually, one of them is that you're actually able to do um, positionally tracked virtual reality as well. So we can open up a, a portal here and uh, step inside. And now what you've got is uh, you're able to move into this uh, pure VR experience uh, with a six stop tracking. And so this is actually a positionally tracked um, six stop experience. Um, and uh, but obviously, again, uh, like with things like uh, Vive, you have your chaperone system so that you don't walk into a wall. So here you can see when we get near um, a real world uh, obstacle, we actually have this uh, effect come in to show you where your environment is so that you don't accidentally run into a wall or stumble mm -hmm. into something. And then you're able to, uh, to step back and then you can see we're, uh, we're back here. We're back here in the, uh, in the real world um, and we can, uh, we can close the portal down and go back to our uh, MR experience. What you're able to do is um, it's, uh, it lets you uh, build uh, little environments in your city. So for example, you can grab this, uh, this tower here and uh, let's see, we'll move it. Uh, oh, I see. We'll put, we can put that uh, on the table there. And then we could grab, you know, for example, like a little uh, house, put it over there. It also includes uh, things like uh, physics, obviously. So if I grab this uh, sphere and drop it, it goes boom, and it'll roll off of the table. And uh, you're able to do things like uh, uh, adjust the uh, textures of these uh, different materials. So it's like a little uh, 3D modeling tool that you can use um, in your environment. And you can build uh, little cities, you know, with uh, trees, for example. We'll put a forest here on the table. So uh, let's add a blimp into the scene. Let's grab this guy here, have that kind of floating up over everything. So you can see here we just built a, a little village in uh, like five seconds, kind of sitting on our uh, on our tabletop there. And bridge is uh, it's available now. Uh, it sells for three ninety nine with the uh, with the structure sensor included. Um, we also have a really mature SDK, both for uh, native uh, iOS development in Xcode and also uh, a Unity plugin 
that provide uh, uh, all of the low-level computer vision um, and give you a lot of the techniques that you saw in the Bridget application, such as uh, pathfinding and uh, stuff like that.